How did you feel when God told you that the next president after the Orange Revolution was going to be the one who was opposed to you before? Yeah. What was the lesson learned from that? No, well, uh, after the Orange Revolution, yeah, we were all against, uh, during the Orange Revolution, we were all against Yanukovych, and he lost, and he was the bad guy, he had seen our eyes, mm -hmm. and we supported the Orange guy. But then the next election, God spoke to me that he's the guy that we were all against that wow. was going to win. <laughs> and I, I, I'm a servant. I just needed to, uh, to uh, obey God. At the, point, at the point of the Orange Revolution, I believe God was pointing to uh, Victor Yushinka. Mm. And um, that's why we supported him. But times change. God mm. is a God of seasons. And God is a God of timing. So at the particular time, he might choose this person and say that person is not the best person and then the next time it, because it's a new season he could say no mm. that person that was uh, that was uh, not the right choice last year might be the right choice this year the same thing with uh, uh in, in nigeria mm, you know the year before uh like 2011 uh, there was choice to, to, between jonathan and uh, buhari and i personally knew that jonathan was the choice at that particular time but then in 2015, uh, 2015 mm. uh, I also knew that Jonathan was no more the person. Wow. But it was going to be Bukhari, even though the, before the election before, God did not pick Bukhari. But times, God moves in time. God is not static. It's mm. not just saying, well, I won't say that, and that's the way it will be. No, God moves in time and season. So mm. his actions and his decisions are decided by that sometimes.